So you want to learn how to throw the discus and develop good technique fast? We're going to talk about it in this video, so check it out. Hey everybody, we're going over today's video and what we wanted to do is cover basically how to throw the discus and develop good technique fast. Now what I thought would be interesting is I did a comparison here of three throwers. We're looking at a 10 year old, a 17 year old, and so what you're going to see is the different stages of technical development. Now the first athlete's 10 years old. This athlete was taught directly using the throwing chain reaction. The second athlete is new to the system and the third athlete is doing what we would say is just hitting the six pillars of the throw. One of the key things is how do you develop good technique fast? There's three key things that we think are absolutely vital that you need to learn how to do. Now, number one is seeing the throw. So the throw happens in one and a half to two seconds. And so being able to see it so you can look at it and seeing it in full speed is takes time to learn. Seeing it in slow-mo clearly makes it a 10 times easier. And then looking at the throw in terms of six pillars and that's where why we developed the system is to help you be able to see and understand what's happening in the throw the second key point is going to be understanding how it works and that's again what the six pillars do there are specific things that we're doing at each phase of the throw and then the third thing that we're going to look at when we kind of compare these throwers is we're going to kind of say what makes it harder generally what are things that you guys need to be looking at so number one seeing it like we just said it takes one and a half to two seconds you have to train your eye and so when we look at things in in terms of uh, in in full speed it's much harder to see it that's a great thing about video and having a, a smartphone is that you can film your video slow it down and see things and then when you slow it down and you look at things in terms of the six pillars of the throw you're going to see so the six pillar system is is really designed to help you again help throwers and coaches really see and understand what's happening which brings me to that second part of what you need to learn, and that is how the throw works. You need to develop your knowledge of the throw. So again, the whole point, what we did with the, th the throwing chain reaction and why we encourage people to look at the six pillars and why we put this in out is because we want people to have a gross understanding of what's going on in the throw. So when you're looking at things, the each pillar represents positions that you have to hit. There's an objective always. So the positions allow you to achieve the objective. Are we setting up up the chain reaction you know pillar two are we setting up maximum power so again look we set a chain reaction we set up maximum power then we can drop in and apply speed when we have those things we do an axis transition and then we hit we lock down power and we hit a big delivery so we're looking at very specific things in the throw and that again is the whole idea again when we're looking at how the throw works developing your throwing knowledge is super key and again that's why we created our six pillar system it's designed to help you quickly understand what's going on in the throw and so what is really important is when we look at this we're going to kind of just look at these athletes and so when you look at this athlete here this is a 10 year old athlete this athlete's dad is uh, one of our tcr coaches and you know uses system and this athlete is moving incredibly well she's only been throwing for two years and you're going to notice that some of the key technical points of the throw are, are really more advanced than the 17 year old athlete. Now, there's gonna be different reasons. We're gonna talk about that third reason again here coming up. What we'll do is we'll break down, by the way, the throw in terms of each pillar. We're gonna do another video after this that we'll probably put out later this week. And we'll talk about pillar one and two and how that works and we'll break it down specifically. But the idea here is understanding that if you don't understand the throw, there's a lot of complexity, but that complexity should be pretty simple to understand. So the third thing that, what, that makes throwing easier is to understand what's actually making it hard. And so when you look here, the, again, this is why I like this comparison. When you're looking at the 10 year old who's hitting really great positions versus the 17 year old, you're seeing that one of the key things is these, all three of these athletes are pretty fit. But one of the things that makes throwing much more difficult is not knowing how to see it and not understanding what's happening at each position. So it makes your training so much harder, but strength is really a key thing. So this 10 year old, just really good strength for that age and you can see that the athlete can hit really nice positions. You can see here, this is where our pillar three, look at this is a pretty advanced position. So you can see when we look at the comparison of the six throwers and we look at the start, you're gonna be able to see how the athlete is moving and looking at the difference of your pillar two. And I would argue that the pillar two on the 10 year old is really top notch. You can look at the, 
The key thing here for you guys to look, and we'll talk about in some future videos, is where is that hip in relation to the shoulder? And, we, and so you're gonna kind of see that, but strength is one of the things that's gonna allow that. Our 10 year old, again, has really good strength level. She's throwing a weight that's appropriate to her size. And then we have our 17 year old, and I know from coaching as she's new to our system, strength is creating a huge limitation on some of those things. So one of the other things that makes it hard is, what did you learn when you start? If you're learning things in the beginning and you're learning in a efficient fundamentals, then you're going to have to retrain and break bad habits while you learn new habits. That's what I have going on with the current athlete. You learn some really good things, but there was some strength deficits. Now you have, that's your third thing in that's holding you back, that's making it harder. If you have a strength issue and maybe a technical pattern, and here's what happens. When your strength is somewhat compromised, you're gonna make a compensation, and now your throwing is gonna be much, much harder. These are just a core things that we felt were really important for you guys to understand. You wanna get better faster. It's really important to see it. It's really important to understand what's happening at each phase of the throw. That's again why we put out our six pillars. What's making it harder? Is it what you learned? Is it your lack of being able to see it? Your lack of knowledge? That's really where most people have a big struggle. And then what makes it more complex is what's going on from a strength perspective. My athlete here that I'm showing you, that's the 17 year old athlete, is a very talented athlete, but there's some very key strength uh, needs and that's gonna be something we're gonna address and that's gonna enable you to hit better technical positions automatically, which is one of the reasons why you tend to see the big strong guys and girls, they tend to be throwing farther because because they have the strength to be able to put themselves into better positions and capitalize on those better positions. So hopefully you guys find this helpful. Again, be sure to, if you'd like more information about the throwing chain reaction, click the link, the link will be in the description. We will be sure to be putting up in our next video, we'll be going over pillar one and two, setting up the chain reaction and how that works. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.